good afternoon from SeaWorld Orlando. We're here today to go trick or treating. Yeah, so we're here for the SeaWorld Spooktacular Halloween celebration. Yeah, I'm excited. And also, Jackson's here and he's gonna go on some rides in Sesame Street Land. So, this is the first time that he's ever seen Sesame Street Land. He's never even watched Sesame Street. I think we showed it to him once. Okay. But I don't think I've been to Sesame Street Land. Oh, really? I don't think I have. Huh. I think I was pregnant that whole time that it like brand opened and all that stuff. So I don't think I actually came to see it. Oh, well today's the day. I know, I'm very excited. I'll have to double check in the old videos, but I don't recall going in there. Well, there you go. Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, let's go inside and we'll get <laughs> trick-or-treating first and then we'll go to Sesame Street Land. All right, we are, we are headed inside. There is quite a crowd trying to buy tickets, which is interesting because it's a reservation system. Like we have to have a reservation to get in, but I guess you there still are reservations available. So for the trick or treating, you have to buy a reusable candy bag for it's starting at 250. Last year they were like a dollar. So going up a little bit in price, but it does go to benefit the SeaWorld Conservation Fund. All right, we got our bag and after our annual pass holder discount, it was $2.12. Not too bad. And now we just get a bunch of candy to put in. So basically, it's like we pay $2.12 for candy. Yeah. So the trick or treat trails open at 11. And we're here a little bit after 11. But this is, I think, when the crowd comes. Yeah. The park is a bit crowded. A little bit crowded today, for sure. We made the rookie mistake of going to the very first spot to buy our bag when we first got in. And then there's just a kiosk here where you can buy the bags a lot faster. Like we waited in line, there's no line here to buy the bags. I like our bag a little bit better though. Here's a sign for Spooktacular saying when it runs, so it's weekends, so Saturday and Sunday from September 19th through November 1st, Count Von Count's Spooktacular Breakfast. The only problem is that's indoors, so we didn't. We decided not to do that this year. But Trick or treating. We did do it in the past, so I'll link that video down below. It's very cute. Yeah. It, and the breakfast was actually pretty good. I agree. Yeah. Uh, trick or treating we're doing, we probably will meet a mermaid. Cookie decorating with Cookie Monster sounds amazing. It's outside, but something that's different this year from years past is the Trick or Treat Trail is one way. So right about where we're at, right there is the exit to the trail. So we have to go all the way across the lagoon here and come in, this is where Icebreaker is, come in over here by Wild Arctic and enter in the Trick or Treating Trail and just go through in one direction and then if we want to go through again, we have to go across the water here and come back through and go through a second time or third time or whatever. Oh, is this, this is where Count Von Count is. Maybe it's outside this year. Oh yeah, cookie decorating with Cookie Monster is also over here. Okay, so I guess it's all outdoors. Well, we'll double check and make sure, but that's what it looks like from the map. I do think we're here too late for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Not only is it spooktacular, but it's also the craft beer festival where you can sample over a hundred craft beers here is booth number one. You guys heard of any of these beers? And this is the $60 for a 12 item sampler or $45 for an eight item sampler. So in years past, the Count Von Count's breakfast was inside of Seafire Grill here. Not this year. Oh my goodness, they already have Sea of Trees up. It's Christmas, Christmas is starting right now. So Sea of Trees is their Christmas event here. We'll put a link to a video in the description down below so you guys can see what Sea of Trees is like but it looks like they are already starting to set up for it. That's where we're headed. That's the trick or treat trail. It doesn't look very crowded over there at all. Man. Much more crowded throughout the rest of the park. There's also a storm of Bruin. Oh yeah. We brought our umbrellas and raincoats yeah. and rain covers though. So we're a-okay. Here's a look across the water at Icebreaker. It's gonna open in spring of 2021. It's full, like the track is complete. They probably just have a few more things to do. They got set back a little bit during the shutdown. I'm excited to ride it though. This is your first time seeing it, Jen. It looks very like, it looks smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but it looks very like, uh, I don't know, like it'll be kind of windy and fun. Well, it goes back be well, it goes back behind itself. Oh, does it? Yeah, we're gonna walk underneath it. Oh, okay, yeah, I can kind of see it now. Yeah, I'm excited to see the rest of it. Let's get our trick or treat on. There's like a dance party going on over here. No physical distancing at all. Seems kind of like a strange moment in time to have a dance party. Here's the rest of Icebreaker back here as we're headed into the Trick or Treat Trail. And this is back by the exit to Wild Arctic. All right, we're headed inside underneath this giant pumpkin. We're going trick or treating. Hi, I just oh. reminded us have to be in a Seawood bag to trick or treat this year. 
Oh, okay. okay. Have to be in a trick or, in a Sea World bag oh, to okay. trick or treat. All right. Yeah, icebreaker. Here it is. Wow. It's so shiny. Yeah, it is. I love. The train like hasn't even been on it yet. I love a brand new coaster. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Wait, we're we're getting in line already. I think to get some some candy. I think that's what we're doing. I think it's uh, just like a moving line. Okay. It seems very. Actually, I don't know. I guess maybe it's where these inflatable things are. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, look at this like taped out line area. What's the, is this for the trick or treating? I think so. Wow. I haven't had to use it, so we're good. Did you see? Look how ominous the storm looks with the big gargoyle. Right. He's so happy though. He's got his tongue out. Spooky, spooky seaweed hanging from the roof above us. There is also lots of hand sanitizer. Oh yeah. Oh okay, here's where you would go to go to cookie decorating with Cookie Monster. Back through there. <laughs> Trying to figure out what these circles on the stage here in Bayside Stadium are. I think those are dance circles for like a dance party. Like you get to be inside of a circle with your party and dance, maybe? All right, first stop, Airheads. And they have a sign for each candy stop. And this first one is Airheads. So the team member is inside of a little booth here with gloves and a mask. And there's a little chute that she drops the candy out. Thank you. We did it. That's a good idea. Yeah. I like it. It's kind of similar to uh, Legoland, except for the chutes are a little bit shorter here. Yeah, well they have the plexiglass around them, so that yeah. makes me feel good. All right, next stop, Nerds. I also wanted to show for physical distancing markings, they've got little candy on the ground. Ooh. Thank oh, I missed you. it. Oh. Bye. Thank you. Oh, there's one right after this oh, one. Oh, for so Laffy Taffy. Yeah. I like the like mummy and the cat and everything decorations on the signs. That's the best. Remember when Laffy Taffy used to have a joke on the inside? Yeah. Does Maybe it still, it still do does. I think it does. Okay. We'll see. They were always like the worst jokes ever. But... The best jokes ever, I think <laughs> you mean. Ooh, look, no line. Right Perfect. All right, let's see. Nice one. Thank you. Over here is the allergy friendly booth. We'll go over there and see what candy they give out. But also, we've got Twizzlers. Smarties are at the allergy friendly booth. Like the okay. Pez ones? Pez style Smarties, yeah. So it looks like we got two different size shoots. All right. All right, did it. Thank you. Next up, allergy friendly spot. And this is the Smarties. Happy Halloween, you guys. Happy Halloween. Happy Spooktacular. Happy Halloween. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. you Great too. to see you. Ooh, look at these decorations. Looks like a looks like a haunted house. With so eyeballs wait. in the window. Do you want to see these characters? Yeah, let's let's meet. Is this the mermaid? No, this is. These are just maybe sea urchins. Oh, okay, yeah. My goodness. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say you got the umbrella. And you got the fans. Where can we get a carriage like that? I, I don't know. Carriage driver, drive us around Where can we find like a carriage that? driver like that? Uh, I'm sure if you asked a bunch of people around here, maybe somebody would be okay with it. Oh, be like, yeah, I'll do it. Or we could take turns. If it's a single yeah, like you guys could push each single. other. You push me. Okay, but she's a lot lighter than I am because she's a ghost, so that's not really fair. Oh. Ooh. Not wrong. <laughs> However. That doesn't seem like your problem. It's like my problem. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. <laughs> Who is this little pumpkin here? Say hi, Jackson. Jackson, say hello. Jackson. Well, Jackson, I'm so glad we found you. The pumpkin queen has been so abroad all day because she's been looking for the cutest pumpkin in the pumpkin well, bag. I think oh, we geez. just found him. We You're so the excited. cutest pumpkin. Are you too young for candy still? I think he's going to share it with mom and dad. Oh, Sherry, he's sharing. It really oh, is. Oh my goodness, that's always so special. You have to teach them about taxes at some point. That's true. Song the for candy you tags. And song for me. Exactly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Who are you going to dress up for Halloween? He's going to be Piglet for Halloween. Oh my goodness, a little Piglet! <laughs> with a little ears and a little tail and a little nose. That is so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I can't wait to see your Halloween costume. There's a Tootsie Roll spot, but it's a quite a long line, so I think we're gonna go to the next treat stand. Also, look at this. Autumn leaves, pumpkins, please. Some fun Halloween merchandise. Oh look, there's an umbrella just like ours, a stroller umbrella. Fancy. Oh my goodness. 50% off this sea this uh, Sea World shirt's from last year. I really like it. It's got uh, a killer whale with pumpkins in it, jack-o'-lanterns. 
candy is Jawsome. Which way to the candy? Feeling corny? Oh, and some like light up cat ears too. Like a flower crown. Light up wands. Flashing mouth. All right, uh, this one doesn't say what it is. I believe it's Starburst though. Hello. Happy Spooktacular. Happy Spooktacular. I like this, this octopus broom Thank up you. there. He's working on his broom training. Oh, okay. So it's still in a work of progress. Yeah, that's ink. It might look like this soon enough. Oh, okay, I see. That's nice. Hello. Jackson, say hello to everybody. Hello. He doesn't know what to think. <laughs> Absolutely speechless, I know. I know. My goodness, so um, are you all decorating brooms? Is that what you're doing? Um, we're fashion witches, so we do love to decorate. Ooh, fashion, fashion witches. Oh my goodness, yeah. and what's in your cauldron back here? Uh, a whole other story. <laughs> the candy witches, uh -huh. they've, uh, they've frozen our potion. Oh. No. Yes. So we've been trying to make a spell to unfreeze it, but every time they come back, Something about this that just um <laughs> it's like opposite, it's freezing right. everything. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. It's making our spells not work. Oh so my goodness. Well yeah. I hope that you guys uh, get that figured out and you get your potion on frozen. Us too. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully in time for Halloween. Of course, yeah. We'll mm -hmm. say happy spectacular. Happy spectacular. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for being Bye. Bye. Jackson, have you ever met a jellyfish before? Not yet. I'll answer that question for you. We <laughs> just met, so now we have met. Oh, okay. Jellyfish. You did it, buddy. Right. Hi. Hi. I bet you didn't know we were so bright and colorful. Such a big thing for you. Huh? <laughs> so, tell me, how did all of these spiders get into the ocean? So we'll take it away. It's, you told it last I time. I did so tell it. We, we to switch tell. off. So it's a great story. So this pirate ship here, we have some pirates that are. Sorry, I just, I just bumped you out of the story here. <laughs> We have some pirates that come here every now and then. They're away right now looking for treasure. Okay. But this is their ship, right? Okay. And this big spider here took over the ship and made them crash into land. Oh. And when this land, when this land, when the ship crashed into land, all this water came spewing onto the shore, which is why we're here and oh. why our octopus friends are here. Okay. So we were in that big bust of water. Wait, can I say the favorite part? Yes. Okay, so my favorite part of the story, the witches over there, they cast a spell on us and we got human legs. Oh my Whoa. God. And Converse. Next stop, Starburst. We already got a few Starburst, but we're getting some more. Oh, oh, oh. We had a... No, thank you. Had a, had a little bit of a, a, a... What do you call that? Uh, a mulligan. A mulligan. <laughs> you want to see me as a ghost? I do. Look at this ghost loves fried chicken. That's me. Oh my as a ghost. I love it. It's the best ghost in the whole park. Right? So wait, is this the M&M line? That's the M&M line. I don't All know right. what's right here. Oh, let's we'll see. see. Don't go here. Don't go here. Oh, Sour Patch. This is your favorite. That's perfect. Good job, Bob. Everybody. Yeah, we did it. Thank you. Next stop, M&M's. All right. Peanut M&M's too. Thank you. Happy Halloween. Oh, we have a lot of candy. You gonna see our haul so far? I think that's it. I think that's all of the tree. All of the tree trails or all the tree locations in the trail. But you can. I think we missed one or two just because we were taking pictures with the characters. I think we only missed one. I think we only missed Tootsie Rolls. Oh, did we? I don't really love Tootsie Rolls, so I'm okay with that. But um, I think you can go back through the trail. Yeah. We probably, maybe we will after we see a couple of other things, but. I think that we did pretty okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah. Last year though, I it was like we... a free for all. You end up with so much candy. <laughs> not as much as Disney for Not So Scary, but you still end up with a lot. But because Not So Scary is not happening this year, I think this is a good alternative. Yeah, so we played carnival games at Disney the other day and it looks like they've got a few over here. The Dubious Disc Drop. I like the name of that one. The Ghoulish Goblet. Oh, oh and the Ominous Octopi. These are some great names. I like the prizes. But I mean, do you want to play a game? Sure. Or can yeah. we win like a zombie narwhal? Okay. Maybe we can play this one and let him pick. Yeah. Oh okay, yeah, let's do it. Okay. We're doing the ominous octopi, and all yeah. we have to do is just pick one. And then you get points on the bottom of your octopus, and then those points add up to a prize. Yeah. Oh. 
so let's see. You wanna, let's see. wanna grab one, bud? See if you can get one of these octopuses. Which one are you gonna grab? Want that one? You Did gotta you get grab it? it. You gotta grab it, buddy. You want that one? You want, should I should I grab it? Oh, you have, oh. You wanna see that one? Okay, what does that one say? You got one point, one buddy. One point. Do you want me to put it back in? It's fine. Okay. Alright, buddy, grab another one. What do you think this oh, one? Oh yeah, this one. Let's see what you got. I got two, two points. points. So we got three. three points. We won a small prize, buddy. Yes. What if he had picked another one? Watch him. Ooh, what do you want, buddy? Oh, let's see. What color do you want? Let's see. Let's go one at a time. You like this one? You like purple? Okay, I'm not reaching for it. The next one. You like green? Oh, we won't even look at it. Yeah, distracted now. No. Buddy, let's look, try look. orange. What do you think? You like orange? He likes orange. There we go, orange. He the right. He's like, what is that? <laughs> you did it. You got an orange prize. Good job. There we go. Look at that smile. <laughs> Thank you so You're much. Awesome. They have a face painting booth where you can get a monster makeover and they have a face mask that matches your face paint. That's really brilliant. Oh, you can get like a hat for a okay. witch. Wow. $5 for each accessory. Oh yeah, and here you can put the flower in your hair. Wow, how much is it to get your face painted? $20, that's not bad. They have a spot where you can meet a mermaid over here. And then they have a different towels and cooling towels and fans for sale, mermaid gifts. And it looks like we were not done getting candy yet. We can get land of gummies and sweet tarts. Hello, happy Halloween. I like that you guys are pumpkins. I like the shirt too. Oh, thank you. Oh, you fit right in with our pumpkin pack. Right? You saying hi, Jackson? Candy. We're trying. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he's very content. Oh yeah. I need one of those carriage things. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> he's got so many fans on him too. <laughs> Not as lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Last one, I think. This is oh, sweet tarts. Trick or treat. Thank you. Happy Halloween. I think we found out that you have to turn the bag the other way. Oh, whoops. Yeah. I'm, I'm new here. Uh-oh. Oh, oh we're time. going off-roading now. We're in the pumpkin patch. Pumpkins everywhere. Kind of a sad sign on the way out. Oh, yeah. Don't, put, one, don't put your garbage anywhere other yeah. than the trash can. Especially not where the animals live. Right? Look at this stuff. Oh, they're eating some romaine. A North American ruddy duck. Yep. It's very hard to understand ruddy oh, in the... because R-U-D-D-Y, ruddy, North American ruddy duck. And it says that their their bill is painted by nature. Oh. Nature painted it. Mother nature. Yeah. I like the name of this beer festival booth. Hell yeah. All right, we are in line to get some food here from Brews and Chews. I think we're actually going to get a lanyard to get some more food as we walk around. All right, so the first thing that we got is... What does this say? Is a pulled pork it was nacho a, a with waffle? Mojo, a mojo pulled pork waffle nacho. That is a lot of food. There's some avocado crema and pulled pork and onions and some cheese and cilantro. This is humongous. Right? Compared like, to mine. I know. This is the uh, brisket slider. It looks good. It's got crispy onions on it. I like, I like that, that it comes, comes with, with the pickle. Yeah, I like that it comes <laughs> with a full pickle. But Hi, buddy. much bigger portion on this one. I'll share mine with you. Yeah. You want somebody? Are you so excited? Yeah. Picking your nose? Okay, picking our nose. Yeah. So, uh, most of my onions already fell out, but I do know that the food at SeaWorld is usually really good. So, I was expecting the brisket to be chewy. It's like literally fall apart in your mouth. Oh, yeah? Like a sliced brisket, too. This bread is a little bit thick, but it's very delicious. Like, this is, this is great. Yeah. Yeah. I was not expecting it. I was like looking at it. I was like, eh. It'll probably be chewy. That's why I didn't order it. It's really good. You want to mm -hmm. try some? A little tiny bite because you yeah. don't have very much. Oh, that's really good. And that barbecue sauce is really good. Yeah. And the, the onions. <laughs> a little bit of spice to it. <laughs> this little buddy has his snackies. I'm a very, I almost didn't order this brisket. I'm glad that you did. Yeah, it's good. Yum. I can't wait to try mine. You're gonna have to help me eat this. It's too big. All right. Okay. Let's see how it is. You see, how can I? I don't even know how you're supposed to eat it. I honestly don't know. This looks pretty messy. This is really good. Yeah. 
That avocado crema is delicious. That pork is really good. There, it is very messy. I have it like all over my hands. So the head wow. chef here is named Chef Hector. Mm -hmm. I, I live for Chef Hector's food. <laughs> It's so good. I forgot that SeaWorld food festivals are the best in Orlando. The bites are too big. I wish the little, um, the fries were a little bit smaller. All right, so now we are headed over towards Sesame Street land to see if we can ride some rides with Jackson. But look at this, there's some water fountains spraying in the lagoon here. Also, it never rained. There's still a bad storm looking like it's gonna be there, yeah. So one of the things that's a perk for being an annual pass holder here at SeaWorld this month is each annual pass holder gets three free samples at the beer festival, but I couldn't I couldn't do it. You were supposed to be able to do it on the app. I put all my information in and then it was like, there was an error. And then I tried to do it on the website. I couldn't find it on the website. So I think we have to go to guest services to get it, but we'll do that on the way out or maybe just even the next time that we come because that'll it'll still be good the next time. I think we're gonna end up having extra little punches on our card. So we'll for sure come back. And depending on how much Jackson likes Sesame Street Land, I think we'll definitely be back. Yeah. Also, we ran into one of you and you gave us the rest of your lanyard because you were on your way out. So that was even off that was super awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, the only problem is that it's only on weekends. Oh shoot, yeah. So we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll I'm sure we'll out. be back. Yeah. But I wish it was I wish the beer festival was running throughout the week. Yeah, I get why they're not doing it like that. There's just not enough manpower right now with the parks, but right. we'll try to come back. Before we head into Sesame Street land. We came by the pretzel kitchen and they've got cinnamon sugar nuggets and pretzel nuggets. Heck yeah. All right, here's the here's the pretzels that we got. This is kind of a good deal. This was one punch. It's a, uh, you don't get the cheese sauce with the pretzels though. You have to pay 99 cents. But they were nice enough to give it to me for free. Oh, were they? Yeah. Oh, thank you. But it, like, I feel like this is the best deal on the punch card because if you don't have the punch card, these are like $7 a piece. What does oh, it say? Yeah. I think the cinnamon sugar was $6.99 and oh. the pretzel nuggets are $6.79. So, oh, really? Okay. Yeah, so almost $7 for each one. I didn't know you got the chips with it too. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try one of these with the cheese sauce. This is, I got you beer cheese. Is it good? There were two different kinds of cheese. There was regular nacho cheese and beer cheese. I like the beer cheese. The thing with beer cheese is that sometimes it's a little bit sweeter. Oh, okay. Is it too sweet now? No, no, it's nice with the salt from the pretzels. Oh, okay. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I like how I thought they had that salt on the top. I thought it was like sesame seeds. I was like, whoa. I know, it's like a lot of salt. And you get chips, so just gonna carve it up. Heck yeah. So I've been eating these cinnamon sugar ones. They're pretty good, but they need a sauce too. I don't, maybe like chocolate dipping sauce or something like that? I feel like they probably had an icing that they sold. Maybe, but I don't know, delicious. Daddy's so funny. That daddy is so funny. Say, I just had my lunch, didn't I? Yeah. I ate it so fast. I'm a hungry babe. I'm a growing boy. Look at these little toes. I love when he does this. <laughs> you are so funny. All right, next stop, Sesame Street Land. Buddy, you're gonna meet people that you've never met before. Just his foot sticking out. Oh, no. I'm so excited. I like that they. I think we can ride more than one ride. Me too. I think we should be able to. I like that they decorated for Halloween. So one of the things that I'm really sad about is that they had a Halloween parade here last oh, yeah. year. I'm so sad that we don't get to see the Halloween parade. Dang. So next year for sure we'll be bringing Jackson to see it. Buddy, you're gonna ride the train. You're gonna Are you ride excited? Elmo's Choo Choo Train. Oh, well, let's do it. Okay. All right. Have fun. I'll see you on the outside. Okay. Bye. Jackson, what do we say? What happened? They said because he can't stand on his own, he's not allowed to ride with me. Oh no, buddy. So once you're able to stand on your own, then you can ride. Are there any rides that he can do? Let's go and find out. I don't know. I thought this one would be the one. This is the literally like a very, very slow moving ride. Uh, okay, well, let's check. We're going to look around and see if there is anything else that Jackson can ride. But uh, that's the slowest moving ride that I can think of. Oh no. I don't know. Dang, I might just have to come back like in a few months. Yeah. So when this area first opened, this was a playground that was themed after the count and uh, they took it all down. And now it's called Rosita's Harmony Hills. And it looks like it's not open yet or not open because of the times. 
but it looks like it looks like there's some musical instruments in here you can play some hills you can climb on it looks interesting but it's closed there's a little a little splash pad maybe one day we'll have to bring jackson in his bathing suit yeah. so he can go in the splash pad i think he would like this yeah so we checked all of the rides in sesame street land none of them jackson can ride and uh he can't even ride the carousel that we know of we didn't ask anybody the line was really long so i didn't want to like disturb the well, team members according to the sign he's too short <laughs> yeah it said 42 inches was the height requirement which is really tall for a carousel yeah so i don't know i'm kind of bummed yeah we'll have to bring him back so you, he has to be able to stand on his own yeah but he's so close to that and i'm sure that we could have just said yeah he can stand on his own but i'd rather just be safe right so um we'll bring him back probably honestly probably in a couple of weeks and he'll be able to ride it yeah so Stay tuned. Here's another one of those rides that Jen hasn't ridden yet because she was pregnant when it opened, Infinity Falls. Uh, what we'll do is we'll link to the video in the description down below where I rode it. It was a fun ride. I thought, oh, there it goes. I was like, I thought one was gonna come around the corner. Ooh, it looks very, like, rapidy. Sorry, the trees are in the way. You definitely get soaked on it. I feel like towards the end of the day, the crowd starts to get a little bit more uh tight it does uh, yeah and i think we're in the area of the park where there's more um like bottleneck areas okay yeah but it's definitely the crowd has definitely um increased since we got here i like how this guy's doing the sweater song by weezer oh is he oh yeah because we can't find anything for jackson to ride time to get some food for the mom and the dad at the Yingling Pub Grub booth. Over here we can get, they kind of like hide the food at the bottom down here. So you can get beer battered fish and chips, uh, golden cured chicken wings, or battered crispy onion rings with ale and cheese sauce. Oh, here they are. Those are the chicken wings and the onion rings. And these would be the chips for the fish. There's the beer battered fish. Looks kind of good, doesn't it? Like that's a, a pretty decent looking fish and chip, right? Stepped off to the side to give you guys an idea of the crowd level and the social distancing and everything around this park. Jen actually got the fish and chips. Yeah, I'm so I was to see how it looks. I was looking at the um, the onion rings. Somebody we met some of you guys who said the onion rings are really good, but I don't know. I wanted to I wanted some some fish, so I'm gonna do the fish and chips. Also. I don't know if he would have made it on the carousel anyway. Yeah. It looks really nice. And this batter looks delicious. It's pretty oily. Of course, it's fried, so it's going to be a little bit oily. But um, let's see. Let's see with a little bit of this tartar sauce. That looks like just straight up mayonnaise. It does. I see a little speckle of some kind of seasoning. Something other than mayonnaise. <laughs> pretty tangy. So we kind of doubled back a little bit. Now we're back underneath Mako again for Go for the Grain. We didn't know that the booths were back here, so I yeah, wanted... Yeah, because this, this used to be a mask off relaxation zone. Now mm -hmm. it's not. Now it's the place where you get the fried green tomato slider. Has some pimento cheese, an onion ring, some arugula. It looks pretty good. Is it good. on a pretzel bun? Um, I think it is, yeah. Yeah, it is. Wow. So I'm going to um, wait to eat this. You're going to get the banana s'mores. Yeah. So we're going to run up there and get that, and then we'll eat them together. Okay. These are called banana s'mores bites? Not quite sure why they're called bites. Well, where is the banana piece? I think maybe they're inside of these marshmallows. No, it's under. No, there it is down there. Let me see if I can. Huh. Oh, is it like fried banana? I think it's a fried banana. All right, so I just took a bite of my sandwich, but I didn't get the pimento cheese in the first bite. I want to see if I can get the cheese in this bite. A little mushy, but good. Okay. I love fried green tomatoes though. Yeah. I know not everybody loves that. I do. The onion ring gives it like a nice flavor too. I'm gonna make the camera focus on the real star of the show. What's that? Jackson. <laughs> I didn't understand why they put the pimento cheese on it at first, but it's really good. Pimento cheese is delicious. I tried this. It's not good. Like they basically just use a blowtorch to melt the marshmallows. So they're like, you can see how, how burnt they are in some spots. And then the bananas, they're fried bananas, but 
I don't know. It doesn't have a good flavor to it. Here's what it is. You don't like banana stuff, but you always order banana stuff. I like just bananas, and I like, like, bananas fosters is good. I like bananas and peanut butter. Maybe that's what my issue is. I think I'm gonna get bananas and peanut butter and then it's not bananas and peanut butter. You should start a restaurant called Just Bananas and only serve bananas. All right, now here comes the challenge of trying to get out of the park before the rain. Oh yeah, but I did want to mention, my fried tomato sandwich had something spicy in it. Oh no. Yeah, my like tongue is burning. Ooh, I don't you know love spicy stuff sauce. though. No, I, I just wasn't ready for it. I don't know what was spicy. Gotcha. Um, also, I want to say, the, the mojo pork apple nachos were the server of the day. Same with the brisket. Yeah. Delicious. That was the A plus number one for me. Me too. Do you guys hear that banging noise? There are some cables that run up the sky tower that when it gets windy, they just smack the side of it. That's what that noise is. Well, it started raining, so I think we failed at the whole making it out of the park before the rain. <laughs> it's a very light mist, so we're still, we halfway did it. Right. As long as it doesn't start pouring on us. Oh no, you got it on your elbow. How did I get, I got s'mores all over me. Yeah. Oh, it's on your shirt. How is it on my shirt? I don't know. How did I get s'mores on my back? Oh no. So there you have it. That was our trip to SeaWorld to go to Spooktacular get a little bit of candy. I feel like even though Sesame Street was a bit of a fail because uh, he's a little bit too small for Sesame Street, I still had a lot of fun like showing him the land. I think there was a lot of like fun colors and like fun noises for him. Yeah. I'm excited to come back in a couple weeks because I'm sure he'll be standing by then. Right. And then we'll be able to do the rides. But Spooktacular was fantastic. The food that we tried, some of it was good. Some of it wasn't bad. I think but... that there were definitely stars of the show. Oh you know? yeah. Um, we still have some some holes left on our, our punch card, so we'll be back for sure. And yeah. then, um, yeah, I don't know. I thought the my the highlight today for me, I think, though, was the characters at Spooktacular. Yeah, they were great. They were so cute. But still, a fantastic day all around. Yeah. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow, and now it's time to help. So today's organization that we'd like to shine a spotlight on is the SeaWorld and Bush Gardens Conservation Fund. So the SeaWorld and Bush Gardens Conservation Fund was established in 2003 and was created to raise support for grassroots conservation and also an, a wide range of programs such as reintroducing cheetah to their native ranges in Namibia, um, hiring guards to protect elephants from poachers, saving sea turtle nests along the coast of Central America, and also cleaning up North American beaches littered with marine debris. Uh, since its creation, the SeaWorld and Bush Gardens Conservation Fund has awarded over $17 million in conservation grants to over 1,200 organizations. And this is something that I thought was really amazing. 100% of the funding that they raise, so every single penny that they raise, goes towards these conservation projects, which I think is just awesome. So if you'd like to learn more about the SeaWorld and Bush Gardens Conservation Fund, please check out the link in the description down below. And thank you so much for watching this video.